Somebody in my YouTube comments asked me how I make these AI visualizers. Hey, can you make a tutorial? I would love to how to create such videos. So what you're going to do is go to Kyber at AI. I recommend just getting like a quick $15 pack because you will need some credits. But uh, they just added this new motion. I've been experimenting with it. But for flipbooks, this is what you want to use for music videos because the motion doesn't let you do music videos. So flipbook, you basically can start with an initial image. I would recommend using flipdrop.co if you uh, if you want to create a starting image. But uh, then you can also transform an existing video. I haven't really done that much. But then you can also the main purpose that I want is that there's a good amount of videos on YouTube or songs on YouTube that don't have a video or visualizer of any kind. So this is the interesting use case that I've been experimenting with. And uh, then you'll start writing your prompts. And uh, what I recommend doing is uh, using ChatGPT for this. So you can actually, uh, if you have, I think either one should work, but GPT-4 should maybe be a little bit smarter as far as this. Ask it to generate a prompt for you, and then it'll, it'll be able to come up with like terms that you've never even conceived of, play around with it and kind of uh, brainstorm and bounce off the wall with ChatGPT. You'll have to upload your song. Uh, I recommend just going to the YouTube link for the song and then using youtube.2mp3. There's a bunch of these sites. I don't use recommend any particular one. I will say you do need to watch out for viruses when you download this. So you definitely can download a virus just downloading things from YouTube using a random sketchy site. This is me making a video. So uh, I have the song that I want to create a video for. It's a song from 2000 and, or excuse me, 1968. Uh, anyway, so it doesn't have a music video. So, uh, so I'm just gonna add, press add soundtrack, uh, then upload the video. Takes a little bit second. Then you go right here, and I've gone into ChatGPT, and I had one video that I already watched that I was like, eh, I kind of didn't like it that much. And so I just copy and paste the subject and style that I have a running conversation where he kind of understands now what I'm looking for. And so ChatGPT, I guess, learns and gets better at it based on your critiques um, and your preferences. And so it, this really is just AI generated content really t tailored to your likes because I assume ChatGPT is throughout this entire conversation, it under, it's starting to understand what makes a good video in your perspective. And so I recommend for Evolve and Audio Reactive, I recommend two medium uh, and zoom in. This is just gonna be, uh, you, you can get positive results not doing that, but then you do generate free views. And so I didn't even start off with a starting image. Hmm, which one do I like? I kind of like this flower right here. I think it looks good. So this storyboard here is an option that you can do. And so, for instance, if you like a particular guitar solo and you want there to be a specific animation for the guitar solo, you can storyboard that in. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities there. But as far as simplicity's sake, you can get some pretty good results if you just trust the AI. Once you've got a video generated, you can watch it. And But if you want to post it somewhere, I really recommend upscaling it. It'll make the video file a lot bigger. It'll take a lot longer to download and upload. I mean, if you're really going to be an artist, you should upscale it to 4K. So thanks for watching.